Dominic Cummings prepares to take revenge and expose Boris Johnson's secrets, and we talk about the hypocrisy of Labour and Nicola Sturgeon over political corruption. Hello everyone and happy Sunday! The Dominic Cummings saga continues and the mainstream media are still obsessed with just talking about what's on the surface rather than what actually matters. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what's going to happen with Dominic Cummings over the next couple of weeks in Parliament because it's going to come and produce some evidence against Downing Street and Carrie Simmons, uh, who is Boris Johnson's fiance, and also the hypocrisy that we are seeing from the left over the last couple of days, The Guardian, Nicola Sturgeon, the Labour Party, suddenly they've forgotten about their own double standards when it comes to uh, political corruption. Now, first, let's talk about Cummings, because he's now coming out uh, with some new evidence. Uh, basically, when he was working for Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, as a special advisor, he used to take a lot of notes. And he, so he's got a lot of, uh, in his like memos and emails and all the text messages and everything that uh, he's obviously uh, taken during meetings. Uh, so some of the stuff might be slightly damaging to Downing Street. Now, this isn't primarily about Boris Johnson as an individual. Uh, it's going to basically expose the whole of the uh, Whitehall machine and Downing Street. So all the, a lot of the uh, special advisors, Carrie Simmons, and of course the decisions coming from Boris Johnson himself. Uh, so over the next uh, couple of weeks, a uh, few weeks, we're going to see Dominic Cummings going to uh, Parliament uh, to uh, pro provide some evidence to select committees. Uh, Jeremy Hunt is going to be uh, as the chairman of one of the committees who will be questioning Dominic Cummings. And uh, he, uh, Hunter actually has said that we will publish whatever he gives us. Uh, we would have to check if it passes any tests. And of course, Downing Street insiders have no idea the extent of the materials that Dominic uh, claims to have. And they say that they are terrified about the further revelations. Now, in yesterday's uh, video, I mentioned uh, that uh, Dominic Cummings uh, posted this long article on his own website on his blog uh, to defend himself. All these allegations that he was a, a you know, serial um, leaker uh, during uh, his time, especially towards the end, uh, he actually came out to say, you know, well, I have evidence proving that I didn't leak. And he actually named other people, including Henry Newman, one of the special advisors, who's also best friends with Carrie Simmons as uh, one of the leakers. So it, it's it, the whole thing is kind of obviously escalating now. The problem here is for Boris Johnson is in the middle of two factions. You've got the, the loyalists, the Carrie Simmons and Henry Newman and all the others uh, who helped him in his campaign. And then you have Dominic Cummings. And as I said yesterday, Dominic Cummings is one of those uh, characters that you just don't want to pick up a, pick a fight with unless you know you're going to win. Because, you know, he doesn't really care much about uh, just, you know, attention or political power or money. He just talk, uh, tries to do what's best for uh, well, from his perspective. Now, the insiders in Downing Street are saying that apparently he has got loads of stuff. Uh, no one has a real clue about what documents, emails, and texts he actually has. They don't know how much he has, nor what he obviously has or doesn't really. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, he's currently saying that he's got all this evidence. Um, and we don't really know in terms of the extent, but we know he's already basically briefed the press that some of the issues around the lockdown will be exposed. Uh, so we're going to talk about that in a second. But uh, they say that the fear is that Boris Johnson had to be dragged into a second lockdown. And, uh, and I think that they are worried that it's going to make everyone who isn't him look very good because Boris and Rishi Sunak were the only ones uh, who did not want to do the lockdown. Uh, so that's the thing that's come out uh, saying that Boris Johnson and Rishi uh, said that we would rather just take a risk in terms of uh, the death toll than actually going into a second and then the third lockdowns. And of course, Sage and a number of others around uh, the Prime Minister forced him to do it. Uh, so this, obviously, at this point, uh, if this comes out, um, some people who have been anti-lockdown would show some sympathy towards the Prime Minister. But of course, the majority, the rest of the country, who in the opinion polls uh, have been saying they're pro-lockdown, he's going to lose a lot of support from that side. So of course, Downing Street are freaking out. And as I said, uh, one of the uh, government sources have said that Dominic Cummings used to scribble a lot in his book and uh, they don't know what he has or doesn't. Uh, so that's one of the things that we have to kind of wait to see in the next 
a uh, few weeks to see what he says. Uh, but another insider says that people in Downing Street don't really understand why Boris has kicked this. And, you know, of course, I mean, the whole thing escalated. I don't think they plan to do it from Downing Street's perspective. I think that some people who wanted to bring down Dominic Cummings, of course, they always wanted to do something like this. But everybody else from the outside, they don't really know what's going on. We got a senior conservative MP saying that it is a complete mess. I'm afraid it is factionalism of the worst kind combined with the, the personal situation of the prime minister's other half. It is really unacceptable. And the only person who can sort it out is the prime minister himself. And another senior Tory MP has said, don't ask me what's going on in Downing Street because I just don't know. So that, I, I always clarify on this channel and the people who say, oh, it's the, the Tory party, the Tory party in power. There is a difference between government and the Tory party itself. So you've got the actual parliamentary party, uh, well, not the government. Then you've got the actual Tory party, the members and the activists. And then you have the government itself. And uh, they're not all linked. A lot of them don't even know what's exactly happening in Downing Street. They just carry the brand of Conservative Party. Uh, but it goes back to, as we said, Henry Newman. You can see his uh, photo with uh, Carrie Simmons and Dylan, the Downing Street dog. Uh, one of the senior advisors have said that Downing Street were beeping themselves ahead of a potentially damaging revelations from Mr. Cummings. Uh, so in the middle of all this, you have everything coming out. And as I said, Dominic Cummings, when he left back in, I believe, November uh, last year, I said, he's not just going to go quietly. He's going to come back. He's, he's going to defend himself because it was a bit weird the way his exit happened. Now, the issue I have is everybody else around the Westminster bubble, they don't know what they're talking about and they all pretend to know what they're talking about. The whole point of it is, is that I can report what's actually being said, but I'm not going to speculate on what's happening. The issue is when you have The Guardian and the Labour Party and Nicola Sturgeon's SNP coming out to just stare things and then pretend to be uh, you know, morally just very right and they haven't done anything wrong themselves, this is the problem I have. So The Guardian have done this article to kind of make things more dramatic. Uh, you know, with the, these bullet points saying, oh, what will Cummings do next? And who was the second lockdown leaker? Well, of course, I mean, this has all been discussed in a mature way across the board. But then you have uh, these guys doing this. Not just them. Nicola Sturgeon's come out to question the transparency of uh, Downing Street, uh, especially when it comes to this investigation. Really? It was only a few weeks ago when Nicola Sturgeon herself and her government we're covering up evidence that we're against Nicola Sturgeon. I'm not really sure we should take lessons or lectures from Nicola Sturgeon's SNP government uh, on transparency and you know, not covering up evidence. Now, another group of people are the Labour Party. We had uh, well, political activist Chris Rose tweeting that in the past, anything Dominic Cummings said was dismissed as a lie from many parts of our media and Labour MPs. Now, what he says is taken as gospel by them. Funny that. True. Remember, every every single time Dominic Cummings said something before, you know, and or like when he went to Durham or anything else he said, the Labour MPs always came out and just said, well, no, we don't believe him. We just don't believe him. He's lying. Somehow, now that he's leaking against Downing Street, they're all behind Dominic Cummings. You know, that he's the hero now. We should just listen to him. So it's, it's a fascinating situation that we are seeing in the, the political class. And it's funny because the, this whole thing, could be damaging short term for Boris Johnson, but long term is more damaging for the whole of the establishment because civil servants' names will come up and there will be others who will be involved. And again, of course, Carrie Simmons and all the other advisors and a number of others as well. But um, I'm, I'm still weirdly confident that Boris Johnson will find a way to survive this because, you know, he gets away with a lot of things we've seen historically. So, uh, but it all depends on how it looks because the, the elections are coming up. Uh, in about a month, less than a month, actually. Uh, so we'll see how it looks in the opinion polls. But on this channel, unlike the mainstream media, we'll keep you guys properly posted on what's exactly happening across the country. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell next to it, and click on all not personalized. And we have our daily videos at 5.45 p.m. and 8 p.m. on my ITC. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.